What's going on guys, I'm glad you guys can make it to Weekly Leo News Episode 4 and as you know it's Dragon Bash, so many new things has occurred. We're going to talk about the new weapon skins that have been leaked, there has been many exploits that have been patched so I will release the details about that. There's new armor sets for the steampunk outfit so that's going to be in the next event so we got leaks on that and we got little sneak previews on Sab coming back, we're going to talk into more detail about that and ArenaNet giving free gem store items to loyal subscribers so stay tuned we got much more to talk about I couldn't cover everything in the preview so here it goes first things first we're gonna cover the new skins that have been leaked and they're just freaking gorgeous I swear to god they're mainly weapon skins but what I can tell you is it's a big ass gun there's hammer sights there's trumpets and there's gonna be some new ghost weapons that just look so nice they look like it's mixed with corrupted with a little ghostly effect to it and then and later there's gonna be like these steam weapons that looks nice you can see the magnum that is just freaking smoking and that hammer or mace just looks great remember guys if you guys ever see anything you want to preview in the video I got every link or chat code in the video description below so I got you guys covered just have fun with that and just enjoy the video the second thing I'm gonna talk about is all the exploits that happened during the Dragon Bash and now all these exploits have been patched so keep in mind I'm not advocating any exploits at all. With that in mind, the first exploit is the mini Dragon Ball activity. Essentially what the exploit is, is players would take advantage of HP regen by using food buff. Now you're wondering, how can this be an exploit? Well essentially in the Dragon Ball activity, you only have a small HP health pool. Because of this, the HP regen on the food is substantially unproportional to the game. So you're just going to be constantly regening, just makes you godlike. And if you see all these videos, I'm just getting wrecked by this one guy. My whole team is too. The second exploit I'm going to cover is receiving your dragon helmet earlier than the scheduled time which is the first firework that is scheduled on Friday. A lot of players got this right when Dragon Bash started. Now how this came about was there are glitch servers in Mines Arch and this affected many players in North America and Europe which allowed players just to stay on this overflow and people would join their party and join their overflow and once they joined that overflow server they received the chest which gave them the three dragon helmet each for light medium and heavy now the third exploit is in relation to the holographic risen knight mini and essentially what players did was before this item was a rare before the patch and players were able to put four in the mystic toilet i'm gonna call it the toilet <laughs> it would either give you another rare mini or a chance of getting an exotic and now you all know how rare the jackalope is or the mini drake or the old cart while well, you had a chance of getting this and players would just keep buying this on the trading post because it was so cheap for a rare mini. After the patch they made the rarity into a masterwork which is green which is in this video because I wasn't able to get a footage of Finally, the last exploit that I am aware of is the MOA racing exploit which allowed players, this is ridiculous, that allowed players to knock down the MOA so you can pretty much team up with a full party and gamble on one MOA and every player will be assigned to knock down one MOA and they can just easily keep raking in money. So right after ArenaNet found out they had to disable the MOA racing activity which really made a lot of players upset because they were participating legitimately and there were just a couple of exploiters or might I say a lot of exploiters just exploiting the hell out of this. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is the future event. So the event that's going to happen right after Dragon Bash and the great thing that I know about this is Lady Casimir is somehow involved in this whole event and we do know that it's probably going to be in the sky something with like airships and stuff because players have been venturing through Guild Wars 2 and they just found like pretty cool things. They found like a pipe sticking out of the the mountain they posted on the on the guild wars 2 forms and the devs actually replied saying oh my god so mysterious which is pretty cool that's pretty humorous in their part yeah there's just many screenshots that players have taken about the the airship the mysterious inquest airship in the sky or behind the mountain so that's pretty cool just check out the screenshots and let me know it's i'm so excited for it so in relation to the event there has been leaks on the armor set that they're going to release in the gem store and i hear this is going to be 
a combat armor set so guess what we're gonna have a new armor set in the gem store that we can actually use in combat <laughs> it's about time enough of town clothes well i don't hate town clothes but you know there's an abundance of town clothes compared to combat armor in the gem store anyways we're getting off topic supposedly this armor set is going to be called steampunk i don't know what that is maybe like a metal mixed with punkish <laughs> besides that i i do have two previews male and female in the video and yeah if you guys actually want to check it in game like preview just i have the chat codes in the video description so by all means just have fun with that moving on to the next topic we're going to cover the returning of the super adventure box how exciting is that so how do i know this well on twitter the lord of vanquish tweeted saying moto is creating a new world and what's up with all this racket when i'm just getting some rest so that's pretty awesome i can't wait for the super adventure box now you you guys probably don't remember lord vanquish so here's a little video <laughs> but yeah that was a great event hope you guys can join this one i don't know when they're going to release this but at least we got a little heads up so this one's going to be a little news quickie I, I just made up that term <laughs> Um, basically, I'm just a little giving you a little heads up on you are able to find the holographic dragon wings cover from any drop in Tyria, so any monster provided. And how do I know this? Because I did see a Reddit post, uh, someone posting saying that they did find a dragon wings from this ogre, I believe. And I, I was iffy at first, but then in the end, I did find two just wandering around leveling my alts. So it's not too hard. It's not that rare. It's not comparable as finding a precursor. So you guys have a lot of chance. And I wouldn't save 100 drawer breakers for it. You can easily buy it or find it. We're almost there, guys. I'm exhausted. It's like 2 a.m. Takes like about four hours to make these videos but hey i love doing it anyways the next topic we're going to talk about is the best method of making gold at low levels right now which is farming dragon coffers ding 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 bingo <laughs> it's, it's a no-brainer for this one uh, at first it's it's sold for like eight silver a pop now it's down to six silver and as of right now i believe it's three to four but it's still good it's still good money uh good income for the low levels so how do you get this well on the mini map there's going to be a small icon a red icon of a dragon's face and you just go to there and it's gonna be like a holographic uh, machine or mechanic and you just press F to interact with it and it's gonna summon holographic minions kill them you got a lot of chance of finding dragon coffers and sell that instant gold guys instant gold now keep in mind arena net did try to nerf this they did make the monsters a little bit harder they, they pretty much buffed the minions HP by a little bit and they added the invulnerability at the beginning to slow down your farming but dude guys girls ladies men best farming place ever for low levels do it trust me in one hour you'll get like uh, i don't know like four to five gold i think of as of right now because the prices are pretty low but still good to me and finally guys the last news possible <laughs> we're going to talk about arena net giving free minis away to all the loyal subscribers to guild wars 2 so if you spent real money on the gem store since the launch date in between june 7th i believe you will get a free package of mini along with a little greeting card by arena net just saying how uh, they're thankful for your support and i found this like it was moving when i read this like that's so much passion for this game by arena net and i really i really admire this company a lot and that's it guys thanks for joining me on episode four of weekly leo news i'm exhausted it actually took me i think four hours because i had to find all the information and there was a ton of information or news for this week so you know just tell me what i did wrong or what i should do next time so i don't waste too much time I have fun recording this so by all means I love doing this for you guys I'll let you guys get updated so I'm just gonna finish uh, editing and just hit the hay sack time to go to sleep all right Leo Guild Wars over now all right I lied this is gonna be the last thing I say I almost forgot they're also gonna release AOE looting abilities so you're gonna be able to loot in a radius this time which is dude that is a dream come true I'm going to be dreaming about that when I go to sleep <laughs> all right Leo Guild Wars over now